All right, today's video, we're gonna go over the Sherpa 50 and the Nomad 13, which is the kit that we bought. We actually bought it for some of our hiking trips we were taking to Hawaii. And today I got my assistant, Ari. <laughs> we're gonna show you uh, how easy it is to use this. It's real simple. So Ari, right, show them how to plug it in so the solar will charge it. Okay, so that's how easy it is. That's already plugged in, 13 watts. And as you can see, it's already charging. It's already full. There's been a lot of questions about what can the Sherpa run as far as it's power wise. And a lot of people say it can't run a MacBook. So we're actually gonna hook up a MacBook Air to it, turn it on. We're gonna show that it'll charge. So as you can see, or you can't see because it's so bright out here, but it actually is charging. So the MacBook will run off the shirt to 50. Another thing we're charging off this is this right here, which is the Venture 30. So pretty much we used every port on the charger side of a 120 and also USB. It's also adapters for laptops right here. You can see this 12 volt and the laptop adapter. They don't make an adapter for the MacBook. You have to assemble your own. So we haven't got that and I really don't care to use it because this works just fine. You'll get about one charge off of this to fully charge your MacBook. If you're using your MacBook while it's charging, it'll maintain your charge. It might go up 10 to 15 percent, but it's mainly going to maintain it. It's not actually going to charge it all the way while you're using it. Solar panel, like I said, it comes in a kit. I think I got it on sale for about 150 bucks. Overall, it's worked out great. It's over a year old now. This thing's been dropped. You see the crack. It's been in backpacks, been in water, not submerged in water, but the backpack was soaked. So it's been through it, but I wouldn't say it's waterproof because it's definitely not, but it's definitely worked so far for what we needed. And if you're backpacking, hiking, taking small trips, this is a good little kit to have. Like I said, the panel's rated at 13 watts. This is 50 watt hours. I think it's 7,800 milliamps. And it has the USB and the 120 outlet. Um, one of the biggest things you hear about Goal Zero is the price. Oh, it costs so much money, but that's the thing. Goal Zero makes it simple. I mean, literally you take one cord, you plug it in, it's charging. You know, you turn on one button, plug in your inverter, charging your MacBook. I mean, they make it so easy. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> and people talk about the price, but the customer service is also great. That's something you won't get with a lot of stuff. You can make your stuff at home a lot cheaper. I've already done it, but it's not as portable. I'll tell you that it's not as portable. You can't throw it in your backpack and carry around as easy. So this definitely takes the cake when it comes to being portable, easy to use. And I don't think the price is bad. Could it be cheaper? Yes. But is it worth it? Most definitely. Like I said, it's over a year already, and this thing gets used every day. Every single day. 